So you've got Home Assistant up and running. You've probably got a few smart lights and switches, maybe some sensors, and even presence detection. Now the real magic in home automation is getting all those devices to work together to make your house feel alive. With Home Assistant, you can do that with automations or scripts. But there's another, potentially better way, using an add-on called Node Red. Sounds interesting. Let's check it out. Node Red isn't new. It started out as an idea for making a visual flow diagram like interface for mapping out MQTT messages. And it has quickly become one of the most popular platforms for the Internet of Things. Node Red is open source and, of course, free to use. I want to use Node Red to augment my Home Assistant experience. Fortunately for us HASIO users, there's a really easy way to get Node Red and Home Assistant working together. Step one is to copy this URL for the repository from the notorious BDG, not to be confused with the notorious BIG. Now open Home Assistant, go to the HASIO tab, and then the add-on store. And where it says add new repository, paste the URL that we just copied. Now scroll down and you'll see a new box that says node red. Click that box. On the next page, you just click install and then start. Installing and starting node red took a few minutes. Be patient. Go get a sandwich or something. Now just click the open web UI button to see node red. The default login is admin and password. It's probably a good idea to change that username and password. So on the HASIO add-on page for Node Red, scroll down a bit till you find this box that says config. Then you can change the username and password to whatever you'd like. Also, if you're using SSL encryption, you need to change this from false to true. Then save and restart Node Red. Now if you're accessing Home Assistant using DuckDNS, you'll probably need to go into your router and forward port 1880 to your Home Assistant Raspberry Pi. Every router is different, but for what it's worth, this is what my port forwarding page looks like on my Netgear router. The next step is connecting Node Red to Home Assistant, so you can have access to all of your Home Assistant entities and use them as nodes so you can use them in your flows. To do that, we need to add a Home Assistant component to our palette. From the Node Red main page, click the hamburger icon and then click Manage Palette. Go to the Install tab and search for Home Assistant. You'll get a few choices. The one that we want is called Node Red Contrib Home Assistant. You can ignore those others. That's the only one we need. You may get a warning about dependencies, but there are no dependencies for this component, so just go ahead and click Install. This may take a few minutes to install. Time to go get another snack. You'll need to restart Node Red from the HASIO add on page for the component to finish installing. When Node Red starts back up, you should see a new submenu on the left called Home Assistant. The last thing we need to do is to give Node Red access to your instance of Home Assistant. There may be other ways to do this, but the way I did it was to drag one of the nodes from the Home Assistant menu onto the main flow page. Double click it and it will open up a menu. Now click where it says Add New Server and put your Home Assistant information. That'll be the URL or IP address for your Home Assistant Pi. If you're using SSL encryption, then for your server, you need to use HTTPS and it has to be the DuckDNS address, not your local IP address. And the port will be 8123. And your API password, if you have one. That's the password that you normally use to access Home Assistant. Now to test our install, we can finish inputting the settings for this node. Choose the domain, the service, and the entity ID. For the call service node, you need to use the JSON text. The easiest way to get the JSON text that you need is to go to the services page in Home Assistant. Copy everything, including the squiggly brackets, and then paste it into the node. For future reference, all the nodes that say state will have the entity IDs from Home Assistant already included. But for call service, you need to have the JSON text. That's all you have to do for this Home Assistant node. 
click done, and then drag the timestamp node onto your flow. That'll just give you a button to click that'll start the flow. Connect these two nodes with a line, and then hit deploy. I've got my floor plan open here, so we can see if the light toggles when I click the timestamp. And yay, magic. One more thing to do before we officially consider this project finished. Getting to the Node-RED user interface by going through the HASS.io add-on page is kind of complicated. It takes too many clicks. You could just type the URL for Home Assistant and port 1880 in your browser, or we could make a new little button in your left-hand panel on Home Assistant so with one click, you can open the Node-RED user interface. To do that, open up your configuration.yaml file. You probably already have a heading for panel iframe. In this case, we're just going to add a few lines for our node red button. The URL will be the IP address or the URL of your Home Assistant Pi with port 1880 at the end. Save your configuration and restart Home Assistant. Well, that's it. We're done with the setup for node red in HASS.io. They just keep making this stuff easier and easier. Now, if you really want to get the most out of node red, you need to put some flows together. You can start by converting your Home Assistant automations into flows to get a feel for how it works. And to help you get started with some cool and creative flows, I'll turn you over to my new friend Rob, who's done a great video on Node-RED flows. Thanks, Justin. I'm Rob from The Hookup. After you're done setting up Node-RED, head on over to my channel to watch part one of my Mastering Node-RED series. The first video will introduce all the important node types and teach you how to manipulate payloads and build sequences for human presence detection and actionable notifications. I'll see you there. Thanks, Rob. Happiness is all about expectation management. Node Red looks cool and it looks easy, but if you go into it thinking all you have to do is load it up and all your automation dreams are going to come true, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. So don't be surprised if you struggle a little to get your first flow working. I certainly did. But be patient and go into it expecting it to be difficult and you'll probably be pleasantly surprised that it's easier than you thought. Well that's all for now. To find out what I'm doing next, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help me out, if you need more help than I can provide, and if you just want to go to one place for all this stuff, Well, that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios.